how much has immigration policy changed in your lifetime alone? Well, look, um, in 1965, Congress passed the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965, the Hart Seller Bill, it was called, after its sponsors in the House and Senate. Crusading for the bill, Teddy Kennedy of Massachusetts, a U.S. Senator, and Lyndon Johnson. And it got passed in part because Johnson and Kennedy assured re reluctant senators, many Democrats in the South, back when, back when there were still Southern Democrats in the Senate, that not that much was going to change. We had a quota system that was heavily skewed toward Europe in general and Western Europe in particular. So it was hard to come here from anywhere else in the world. But by the mid-60s, people didn't want to come here from Western Europe. Western Europe was thriving. They had 30 years of growth after the end of the Second World War at breakneck speed and were living their best lives. They didn't want to pick up and move to another country and learn another language and start at the bottom of the totem pole. But people from the Philippines wanted to come here, and people from Nigeria wanted to come here, and people from Venezuela and Colombia and Panama wanted to come here. And Lyndon Johnson opened the rest of the world to migration. And when you see those guys with tiki torches marching around a statue of Robert E. Lee, in part, they're reacting 50 years later to the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965. It is the bill that changed who comes to America and thus started the clock ticking on that 2045 date when somewhere in the country, in some maternity ward somewhere, a kid is going to be born that changes the racial balance of the United States, making it a slight majority for people whose ancestry is traced to Africa, Asia, and Latin America, not to Europe. We used to think we could handle it. Things that are going on in America right now show us that it's going to be a wrenching change for a lot of people.